This is the Rode Broadcaster. It's a large diaphragm condenser microphone built specifically for broadcast or podcasting, narration, YouTube videos, etc. Though it will work for other uses as well. Unlike most large diaphragm condenser microphones that are side address, the Broadcaster is a front fire microphone, also known as end address. Being a condenser mic, it will require phantom power. It has an on-air light that you can wire into a board, and those parts are included. Otherwise, the light will come on any time it detects phantom power. An internal pop filter is built in to reduce plosives, and you can add the Rode WS2 windshield to further reduce plosives, breaths, and wind. It will come with a heavy-duty plastic adjustable mount. It has a cardioid pickup pattern, meaning it's most sensitive from the front, a bit on the sides, and rejects sound from the rear. The frequency response is 20 Hz to 20K, and as you can see on the graph, there are boosts in the top end to enhance clarity and an enhanced proximity effect on the bottom end. There's a 75 Hz high pass filter on the mic to prevent low end noise from being recorded. And of course, this is an XLR mic and the mounting system will screw on at the rear. So be sure you only purchase approved road mounts. The mic weighs in at about 1.27 pounds, has a rugged stainless steel body and feels like quality. Plus it sounds really good. Because this is a condenser broadcast microphone, it will have an enhanced top end, enhanced bottom end, enhanced proximity effect, and be more sensitive when compared to dynamic broadcast microphones. This is not necessarily good or bad, it just depends on the sound you like. Now we'll hear some samples of the Rode Broadcaster from various distances. Absolutely no processing going on right now. We'll do that next. Currently, we're about three to four inches away from this microphone, which is probably the average distance you would be. Now, currently, I also have the WS2 windshield on this mic. I'll go ahead and take it off for the remainder of the uh, sample. All right. Now, the windshield is off. You shouldn't really hear much of a difference. All right. So, the Rode Broadcaster about three inches away here. Let's go ahead and move it out a little bit. And now we're about six inches away from this mic. So it's actually usable uh, at six inches away. It sounds pretty good overall. Might need a little bit more gain or something, but overall six inches isn't too bad. Again, completely raw, no processing at all. Let's push this a little bit farther away. So now we're about a foot away. You probably wouldn't be a foot away from this mic, being that it's a broadcast mic. Uh, but this is what it sounds like, just in case you had some talent that was kind of far away from the mic, about, uh, you know, about a foot, 14 inches or so. Let's go ahead and come back in here. So now we are at about uh, three to four inches away right now. Pretty good distance from the mic, but we can really take advantage of that proximity effect of this large diaphragm condenser by really coming in here to around one to two inches away. Really close. Of course, have good mic technique as well. Don't be speaking directly in to the mic t -t -p 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 like that. Of course, you're still gonna get plosives if uh, you're that close and you're, you're pumping air directly into the uh, capsule there or into the uh, diaphragm, even though it does have that built-in pop filter. So I'll turn my head to the side just a bit, come into about an inch away or so, and here's where you can really do some good narration or film uh, narration in a world where a man uses the road broadcaster or whatever silly thing you want to say so again we'll back up here to about three to four inches away now i do have a computer in this room you're probably hearing that in the background uh, we'll process that out in the uh, processed track coming up next so let's go ahead and because this is a condenser mic you're going to hear uh, more things than you would with a dynamic so if I type on my keyboard and click the mouse, you might be hearing that. 
whereas you might not hear it with a uh, dynamic because in general they're a bit a bit less uh, sensitive overall. Let's go ahead and turn on an air conditioner just to get an idea. So there we go. Now we have an air conditioner on, still about three to four inches away from the microphone just to get an idea of what uh, that would sound like if you happen to be in a noisy room. Now let's go ahead and switch on our 75 hertz high pass filter. Okay, there we go. Now we have our 75 hertz high pass filter on. It's gonna filter out some of that low end rumble. Uh, you know, maybe you're messing around on your desk or something. It should filter some of that out as well. Again, just to get an idea. Let's turn off the air conditioner. All right, air conditioner is off. Still have our high pass filter turned on. Come in here real close. Check out the proximity effect with the high pass filter in a world using the broadcast microphone. All right, just to get an idea. And let's go ahead and switch back now. Turn off that high pass filter. Okay, and now we're back in a world using a broadcast microphone. All right, so that should give you a pretty good idea of what this sounds like completely raw. I'm just moving the mic around a bit here on uh, our Frameworks arm. And what do you say we go ahead and check out what this microphone sounds like now once we add in some processing, some EQ, compression, things like that. All right, so now we are using the Rode Broadcaster with processing turned on. EQ, compression, got a bit of a gate in there, of course, DSing, some noise reduction, all of the basic things you would have for any sort of a professional voice track. Now, currently, about three to four inches away from the mic, mic works, uh, this mic works very well at about three to four inches away, but of course, we can pull out a bit farther, go to about uh, six inches away here. So six inches away from the Rode Broadcaster with processing turned on. That's six inches away from the Rode Broadcaster with processing turned on. And we'll go ahead and push out a little bit more. So now we are good 14 inches away or so from the Rode Broadcaster. Just to get an idea, if somebody was really far away from the mic, what would it sound like? Well, this is what it would, uh, what it would sound like. And let's come back in now to about three to four inches away from the mic three to four inches away from the Rode Broadcaster. And I'll type on the keyboard and click on the mouse just to see if that's coming through again, because this is uh, a condenser microphone. It's going to be more sensitive than dynamic microphones. Now let's go ahead and come in here really close, about one to two inches away from the Rode broadcaster and really check out that proximity effect in a world where one man uses the road broadcaster all right so you can do uh your voiceovers like that if you happen to be narrating a uh, some movie trailer or something like that it will work just fine for that we're about three inches away here uh by the way we'll do the air conditioner again turn that on again we have processing turned on we're uh, trying to clear out some background noise and stuff with our processing. All right, air conditioner's powering up. There it is. Six inches away now from the road broadcaster. Air conditioner turned on. Uh, processing our track. Come back in here real close here. Road broadcaster about two inches away from the road broadcaster. Let's switch on our high pass filter now. All right, high pass filter is now engaged on the road broadcaster again being processed air conditioners currently turned on let's go ahead and turn the air conditioner off air conditioners turned off still have our high pass filter turned on of course still have our processing turned on okay again 75 hertz high pass filter is also on so just to get an idea if i come in real close here uh, listen to that proximity effect with our high pass filter. So we still get a good proximity effect, but it's not as boomy uh, as it would be with uh, with that turned off. Okay, back up to about three inches away. Road broadcaster again in here to about two inches away. Road broadcaster, and now we'll turn off our high pass filter. Boom! There we go, and we are back to the full frequency 
range of the road broadcaster. Come back out here about four to five inches away. Again, processing turned on, full frequency response. Processing turned on one to two inches away, really exposing that proximity effect. And then backing up to about seven inches away right here, road broadcaster, seven inches away, and then back in to sort of the nominal distance, uh, normal distance that you would be somewhere around three to four inches away. So you can decide if this is the sort of sound you would want for your podcast or your YouTube video, your narration, or your voiceover. Currently, we are about three to four inches away. One more time, we'll come out here a little bit further, seven to eight inches away. Still sounds pretty good, even at about eight inches away from the road broadcaster and coming really close to really expose the proximity effect and really put on your uh, voice over voice, the road broadcaster. Again, processing is turned on back out to about four inches away from the road broadcaster. That is the Rode Broadcaster, a large diaphragm broadcast quality condenser microphone. If you want to pick one up for yourself, we'll have links in the description below. That's the Rode Broadcaster. <laughs>